So tip number one is choosing your god. So when you are in the character customization, the only core thing you should focus on is what religion will be your starting religion, as each religion has certain perks to it, such as special clothing, special weapons, or special abilities. One god, the Yog god, this guy has the ability where you'll be able to craft a certain meat at his altar, and when you craft that meat, it has an extremely long spoil time, and it also fills you up quite a lot, making it one of the best meats in the game. Now, don't worry, while you are playing the game, you can actually learn every single religion by visiting various locations. So, you, what you're doing right now is simply choosing a god, and then you can go ahead and learn more throughout the game. The only god you cannot learn is the Krom god, and that's basically, is a zero god, he has no special abilities, no nothing, it's just nothing. Um, so, yeah, that would be the only one that you won't be able to get so if you want choose him and then get the rest of the gods while you're playing if you're one of those completionists so during your time in conan you might have accidentally picked a fight with an enemy you thought you could kill and now he's kicking your butt well what you can do in some cases is actually jump in the lake and swim and then ta-da the enemy will like oh yeah all right and then just no longer follows you and goes off but however this won't work for all enemies because the crocodile for example will go swimming with you the third tip is getting familiar with your map so when you're on computer, press the M key to open up the map screen, and now it is time to get to know your surroundings. So the map will be fully revealed first time round, so you don't need to worry about unlocking areas and removing fog of war. Furthermore, you'll also be able to place map markers to help you out to find your way around where everything is. But it's important to note that when you further go north and west, such environmental uh, areas will be much more hazardous and less forgiving, as well as you'll find more challenging enemies. However, by going north and west, you will be able to find a higher quality amount of resources such as coal and iron in larger amounts as seen on the resource screen. My fourth tip is choosing the right stats, such as strength, virality and encumbrance, as these are the best three to level on, especially in the early stages. Now strength makes your attack stronger, virality gives you more health and encumbrance allows you to carry more all of which are extremely vital. Now, of course, make sure to spec into other stats, but do keep in mind that the max cap in the game is level 60, meaning that you won't be able to actually spec into everything fully. So you have to pick and choose and just go through all the stats right now and decide what you think is best for you. So my fifth tip is how to level up much faster in Conan Exiles. So the first way we can level up faster is by finding discovered locations. So on the map right now, you can see this area that I'm highlighting, which has got the unnamed city and where the slave pits are. Now, going to name locations like that will give you a discovery XP, so it's a nice little bit of a boost. But the main way in which people do actually get XP is by completing the journey quest, as you can see on the top right hand corner. Now, we'll go ahead and open up the journeys tab. So basically, if we go ahead and start completing these quests, they will give us a nice healthy boost to our XP level, making it not so hard to grind. And it has about 10 chapters, and you'll get more over time. But it's important to know that you shouldn't complete all of them when you're extremely low level. You should save some when you're getting close to the max ranks being level 60, because you will even get more XP. You will get even more XP. You'll get a small amount now when you're low level, but when you're closer to the end tier, level 60, and you're doing these quests, it's going to give you a lot more XP, make it even less of a pain in the butt to get to the max rank. And then the final way to level a bit faster it would be to go kill some creatures and NPCs. So go ahead and slaughter a bunch of them, and you will level up quick as chips in Conan Exiles. Alright, so my sixth tip is to deal with being encumbered. So when you are encumbered, which is when you're over 100, as you can see I'm at 121%, you move much slower, and obviously if you try and sprint, you are going to move you know, a little bit faster, but your stamina drains super fast, and you're not going to be going anywhere. So, in order to save you time, rather than just waiting 5 million years to run home, if you have a pair of daggers, so I've got some stone daggers out right now, you can do two things. If you activate its attack, like this, you can actually go a lot farther than what you would be if you were just doing the standard sprint. Now, obviously, it drains your stamina pretty much quickly, but it is a quicker way than if we had just walked that. And then the final tip is, if you're on computer, what you want to do is hit the left control button, and you'll do these little flippy flips. And that will help you get around even faster as well, but obviously the stamina drains a bit quickly. So choose which method you want to do, but that is the quicker way to get from A to B when you are over-encumbered. 
My seventh and probably the most important tip is keeping an eye on your food and water levels. These two are extremely important. Regardless of any circumstances, you always have to keep an eye on them. If one of them drops to zero, your character is going to start dying. And if they're both down, well, then you're in deep trouble because then it's going to go down even faster. And the last thing you want to do is die when you've got all this awesome loot on your hands and then you're dead and then it's like, oh, it's all gone. So definitely keep a good eye on that. Alright, so my eighth tip is to make some friends, more specifically to tame thralls. Now, each thrall has a different profession. There are archers, blacksmiths, smelters, priests, just to name a few. And depending on their role, they can either defend your base from attackers, such as when my guys are defending me from the croc, or if you have a blacksmith, for example, and to assign him to a blacksmith forge, he will then able to reduce the crafting cost of weapons, as well as if it's a special thrall, you'll be able to craft special weapons. So thralls are basically the most important thing you can get in Conan Exiles. I will have a guide to teach you how to tame them soon, but 100% get thralls that will make your life so much easier. Going on from there, my last part to this is to actually get some clan members. It's always good to have a couple of friends in your clan to make your life a lot easier. It is a bit hard sometimes to solo Conan, so if you can have some mates to back you up, it makes life a lot easier. Alright, so my ninth tip is dealing with sandstorms. Now, sandstorms spawn in the desert biome, as seen here on the map. And basically, what happens is when a sandstorm comes, it's going to kill you. That's what it does. Sandstorms will reduce your health over time uh, while you are in the storm. Now, the best ways to counter it is you can do a couple things. First of all, you can make yourself your own makeshift shack. As you can see, I've got like one little house there with a foundation, a couple of walls and a roof. That is my makeshift house and that is a way to protect yourself because what you need is you need the shelter icon, preferably full, to give you most protection because if you're in the open, you'll die. The second one is to build a tent. That is also another way, just hide under that and that will give you full protection. And then the final way in which you can protect yourself is by wearing a special mask, which I'm going to have on the screen right now, all the special masks that you can use to protect yourself from the sandstorm. So my 10th and my final tip is start on single player first before you even play on official or any other server. See, the reason is because you're going to die a lot, right? That's like any survival game. You're going to die a lot. But the advantage of single player, at least, is that you can adjust the server settings to make your life a bit easier or harder, whatever you want. But more importantly, you'll be able to learn the lay of the land in Kern and you'll know where the key materials are, such as iron and coal. You'll be able to find base locations and you won't have to worry about anyone pinching your stuff and just get used to everything in the game. And then when you jump into another server or official, you'll know all the basics, you'll know where you need to go, you'll know what you need to do, rather than just jump onto official straight away and twiddle your thumbs saying to yourself, oh, how do I build a pickaxe? With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you give you some starting tips for Conan Exiles. And if you have any other comments or questions or video suggestions for Conan Exiles, let me know in the comments section down below. With that being said, though, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.